So now the next technique that we're going to do after wet on dry is going to be wet into wet. So if wet on dry was wet paint on dry paper, what do you think wet into wet is? Thank you very much. Say that again. Wet paint on wet paper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here before I do anything. One thing you'll notice too, by the way, is if my if there if my uh, paint excuse me if my water starts to change uh, color because of the paint I put in it, that's going to affect this. So if you notice, because this is slightly pink, what'll happen is this area actually is going to be slightly pink. You can't see because it's so subtle. So you want to be careful about that. If you're going to be doing anything like that, you may want to clean up your water. Okay, the dirt, dirty water equals a dirty painting. So now I'm going to come in here and I'm going to paint this entire area just with water so that the paper is wet. Okay, now wet on dry is really good for details. Wet into wet is going to be really good for backgrounds and large areas and for blocking in color. Okay, so I'm going to come in here and it's wet and I can tell it's wet because it's shiny. I look again, I'm going to go thin to thick, dark to light, multiple layers and colors. So once again, just like I did up at the top, I don't have to write my name, but I'm going to come in here with the blue. Notice I don't, I never dip my paintbrush into the glob of paint. You just don't do that. Just right to the edge and you mix it with water. Notice that I never come into the middle yet. Okay, now here, notice the difference in the line. What's the difference in the line? Look at this line compared to these. How would you describe the difference? Okay, they're definitely lighter, yes. What else? And they're kind of blotched. It's almost like they're fuzzy. Look at it. It keeps fuzzy. Okay, I come in here. Oh, look what starts to happen with the water. See how it reacts differently when there's a lot more water on the paper. I'm going to grab my pointed round. I'm going to grab some of my green. Okay. I'm going to come in here. Dark to light, thin to thick. Notice how it Notice what it does. Look at that. Add a little, a couple little dots, and look how they just blossom. Those are known as water blossoms. Notice how the paint is coming down to the bottom in here. Does that make sense? So what technique is this? Wet on wet. Wet on wet. Thank you very much. Okay, that's what you're going to be doing. So once you're done with wet on dry, move on to wet into wet.